All right, so we're inside of Maya right now, and this is our animation file. So as you can see here, you can see it's referenced in. You can recognize that with little um, diamonds here. And as you can see, he's animated, not very pretty. Um, you can also see there's something funny going on, in, going on in his head. So like this stuff here is not necessarily what I want it to look like. But as you can see, it's just a blend shape that kind of moves in and out as his head is moving backwards. And I've done this just for a test, uh, just to prove to you guys that our blend shapes are actually being activated. Because we have corrective shapes on our arms. Um, but it's really tough to see if they're actually working inside of Unreal. So. Um, you know about how to set up the blend shapes in the actual uh, rigging course, but um, in this way we're just going to export it into uh, Unreal. Uh, we're just going to talk about like what the actual rig file looks like. So as I just said, we have uh, corrective shapes for our elbows. Uh, but just in order to have something really clearly to see, I just created this blend shape that activates uh, on his bone, on a rotation, so that kind of works. Then uh, I saved out that rig, and it's just a regular rig, right? We have, uh, we know this from lectures that there's the mechanical, we have a game hierarchy, we have our proximus and our uh, actual geometry. Um, pretty uh, straightforward f uh, if you've done the course. And then um, what we do here inside that animation file is we got all this stuff here, and now we kind of just want to export that. So first of all, I kind of want to go in and want to export my rig, so I'm just going to select my character and my game mechanic here. I'm just going to say file export selection and we'll see where that gonna, that's going to end up. Export selection. So we're in the rig files. I'm in the game rigging rig and then export and I got a character file here. I want to make sure that I don't take animation in case I have any kind of animation in my scene. I don't want that. So I'm just going to take that off. It should be off by standard. You can always check your units if you're like in automatic mode. I usually like to just set it to centimeters because my character is built in real life size depending on your project. I'm just going to hit export on this, it's going to say do I want to replace it, yeah that's fine. Runs it out, skin definition, it's just uh, because I previously had some joints that uh, have been changed and I haven't removed them from my skin cluster so it's giving me that error. Um, it's not a big thing, that's fine. Uh, uh, constraints are not supported in Unreal, uh, in the FBX format, that's fine. Unsupported maps, probably just a ramp, yeah so it's just a ramp. I think I used that for the eyes, so that's okay, that's just because Unreal ha ha probably has a different kind of RAM system. So this is all fine, I can live with this. Um, boom, and then uh, we'll go into the animation file. So here, um, in the animation file, what we technically just need is all the animation info. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll um, go in here and we'll say uh, geometry, we don't need actually any of that, we kind of just need to know, we will export on the, on the character geometry because that'll uh, uh, I'm sure that's going to connect to the blend shapes that we have connected to this mesh here, but um, we are going to bake out the blend shape here. So first of all, I'm just going to go into the actual game mechanic hierarchy here. I'm just going to unfold that entire hierarchy. I'm just going to select all these things here, so all the game mechanic hierarchy, and I'm going to go to Edit, Keys, Bake Simulation, Option Box, Selected All Keyable, that's fine, Apply, Runs Through, and as we can see, we've got a key on every single frame now, so we got keys on all our stuff here. That's excellent. Uh, so the next thing, as I mentioned, is that we kind of want to just uh, make sure that our um, that our blend shapes are uh, also um, um, baked out. So I'm just going to select that blend shape by going in here and take select name and just select the name here. And I'm just going to go up to bake again. Keys bake simulation bakes out all that information. Same thing for the head here. Take the head. E head. I call it. Thing. Should we can call head, but that's fine. Bake that out. And then what I'll do is I'll just take all this stuff here. I'll take this one here and I'll take that one there. Uh, so my character, I'm going to say file, export, selection. FBX is good. Export selection. We're under animation. I don't want to export in my animation. Also, one thing that I can see that I forgot here is that I, I'm just going to make sure that I save out a new version that's not going to call uh, idle hover, I'm going to call it like idle hover export file, so in this file I can actually go in here and say reference import, so uh, none of these things are imported, and I'm going to say namespace, and delete the namespace, so that's the namespace right here, also explained in the course. Uh, the game mech here, um, and the character geometry, and I'm going to say file export, Selection, FBX format, FBX, 
and not underneath animation that's not why I put it if I had a ton of files I'll probably do that uh, let's see so export I'm gonna take this anim hover I'm gonna make sure that I click on animation this time uh, you don't want to bake animation because we already done that um, we could have probably done that in here as well so I'm pretty good with um, the rest of the standard settings for that let's have a look that's all fine. Export selection. Yeah, I want to replace it. Great. So I think that's the same as when we exported our rig. So right now I'm just going to go into Unreal. And inside of Unreal, we have these uh, folders here. So under the character, so this is just a standard layout, right? This is what you should see here as well. So if you go to the content browser, like go and click on this one, you should see all this content here. Uh, I'm currently on all assets, but that's fine. Go into that. So this is fine. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up the first person underneath character here. You'll see one that just I just right clicked and say create new folder, new folder, and then I just created an alien folder here. So this is where I want to put my actual character. So I'm just gonna import that, open that up. Make sure, and it's really important because you're probably gonna look. It's probably gonna look like that. You should have this arrow here, not this one down here on the animation, but underneath the mesh here. Make sure you open that one up and tick import morph targets on this is really vital else you uh, morph targets inside of, unreal, inside of unreal is the plane shapes next thing is that i don't want it to s uh, specify a skeleton because i want to import my own so i'm just going to say none uh, you know if, if it already says one then say clear and i think that's just what we're going to try and do now here so it's going to give me the same errors as it did inside of maya that it can't find those joints that are currently not connected so the neck joint i think it was so that's fine so that's on nose neck and elbow here that's okay uh, so what we can see here is we have our character, we got all the blend shapes here, the head balls and all that stuff, duh, 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 like so, all fine with that. Um, next thing we're going to do now that our character is in here, uh, it's still compiling the shaders, that's fine, it's just importing the blend shaders from Maya. Then we're going to go into animation here, we're going to take the alien here, I'm going to right click and say import, and I'm going to take the animation hover, which is the last one I exported. So in this case, I just want to import the skeleton mesh. I don't need the actual mesh of the character, and I'm going to define which skeleton I want that information to jump onto. And since we already imported our character, this alien skeleton is already in here. And one more thing is that we probably want to rotate our character forward because the axis in Unreal are a little bit strange. So I'm just going to rotate that forward. Uh, and we're just going to see if that's all we want. I think as a standard, we should be okay. So let's just try and hit import. And same errors as before. Um, what we'll do here, we'll just open up that, and you should be able to see that our blend shapes are being driven right here. You can see that the blend shapes are jumping up and down, which means that our um, elbow should also be activated. So what I would do now is just go in and re-export that. Um, it's good that we're seeing this, but it's really ugly. But it does tell us that our um, that our export and our um, connection to our blend shapes is working. So yeah, I would just go into Maya and just kill that blend shape and re-export. Um, I just did it to check. Anyways, that's uh, that's the workflow. Uh, even in uh, with the new, um, even with the new, um, what do you call it, the shape editor inside of Maya, uh, this workflow works. So um, I wish you good luck with that and uh, and check out the course, uh, the full course for rigging up the characters on the website. So I look forward to to see a lot of you guys enrolling in that. It's a two week course, uh, pretty basic game character rigging. So it's just like this uh, IKFK arms, spring solver, um, um, what do we call it? Um, quadruped legs, a uh, little bit of tails. We keep the joint hierarchy low uh, because we're just going to kind of want to get our head around how to build that actual game character setup uh, compared to how to do the film character setup. So, yeah, this is how you build a character in games and how you export and import it into a game engine. So. Uh, I'll see you in the course and remember to uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.